several months ago, early 2015, I was at a manager's meeting in Las Vegas, and I uh, had an opportunity to sit through a, a presentation that portrayed uh, a yard redesign project that took place back in 2014 out east. And uh, Central Road Room again did the presentation, and, and other than the, uh, the actual physical layout of the yard and the size of the buildings and, and the material, um, I couldn't help but think that this was something that um, Appleton, Wisconsin could benefit from. So immediately upon the completion of the presentation, um, I began my, my campaigning, my efforts to get uh, this project, um, this, this process improvement project um, enacted for, for Appleton. So the first step of the project was to get enough data that we could justify doing the project in the first place. So what we did is we picked four different load types, rough sheeting, shingle load, wall loads, and start loads, and we used a tracking software to create essentially spaghetti maps in regards to seeing how much we were driving, how, you know, time, distance, to really get a beat on what we were doing. We had to get broken into teams. We had to come up with a great future state, come back together, and then try to make a new future state for the yard based off of the data we had, the amount of usage of an item, and pretty much come up with the perfect solution we could at the time. So this right here was our current state. We had a lot of driving going out for as far as everything had to come back to the central location here. We created game, a game board with game pieces that represent each type of item. What we did is we took all the little pieces you see here, each one represents a product, and we had to align it on the board to what would be the most logical and most efficient way we could to meet the three metrics we had, which were to reduce our footprint of our total yard use by 30%, uh, decrease forklift distance traveled by 40%, and we wanted to become even safer than we already are and use a lot of signage and route markers and everything just to make it a much more seamless system for our customers and for our own team. So it came down to being like a team effort to go from one state to the other. It wasn't mandated from management or the president or whatever. It was actually a team effort with people that actually worked in the industry and know what they're doing, but especially with my experience that I've had. Most of the place I worked prior to here told me what I was going to do and how it was going to be done without giving any input from the employee or the people that actually do the work. Some of the benefits that, we, that came out of this was uh, fuel savage on forklifts, uh, the wear and tear on the forklifts, the labor involved in pulling an order, the storage, uh, putting things in the proper spots as far as not having damage. It'll be really exciting to see what other benefits this whole entire project will yield in the future.